In this video, we're going to explore two bridges in Neshanik Station, New Jersey. Both these bridges were built in 1896. The first bridge, a vehicular bridge, crosses over the South Branch River. It is a one-lane bridge and has yield signs on both sides, and traffic must be cautious going over it. There's a small trail leading to the river. Some people use this to launch kayaks, and there is a walking trail that parallels the river, and I'm not sure how far it goes. I found some interesting clamshells along this river of some native species. They are very, very small, and I, of course, had to bring a few of them home. I enjoyed this area very much. I spent a lot of time here when I was a kid. We used to go to the flea market that used to be down here uh, alongside the river. And I'm not sure if they still do that, but I do see that some of this has been converted to a park, and we're going to explore that with the train bridge later. We're going to have a look first at the Elm Street Bridge that carries the road over the South Branch River. Here at the entrance of the bridge is a portal that's welded on and has been built roughly around 1930 and is a later addition to the bridge. The railings are original and very ornate, very well preserved. This bridge underwent rehab twice in my lifetime, once in 1983-84, and again in 2007 when it was completely dismantled, repaired, and put back together. As you can see by some car parts sitting in the road, this is a high accident area due to the nature of the one lane bridge. I can only imagine some people just whipping around the corner and getting a bad surprise. We're going to walk across mostly in this direction in this video because the sunlight is hitting the bridge and illuminating it much better in this direction. I tried to highlight some of the key features of this bridge including some of the uh, including some of the tension members, which seem very thin, but apparently the engineers knew what they were doing. This is a lenticular truss bridge, a uh, nine panel. I really wish I knew what some of that stuff means, but of course, for my and your reference, I have included some links to bridge information at the bottom of this video in the description. The silver bolts that hold the pieces together, you'll see several of them in this video. Um, they're very obviously some of the new additions. Uh, the underside of this bridge has also been greatly modified, which some people think took away from some of the historic character. Uh, in all, even with modifications, this bridge is considered very culturally significant, historically significant, and is supposedly the only example of a two-span lenticular truss bridge in the state of New Jersey. Unlike a lot of bridges that you've seen in other videos that I've done, this one has a paved surface. The bridges that cross the Delaware that I've highlighted before have an open grate construction, and I, one thing I noticed walking across this bridge as traffic went by is it did not shake. It didn't shake at all. It was a very strong and sturdy bridge, very well built. So now we're going to go and take a look at the railroad bridge, also built in 1896. Um, it replaces a bridge that was destroyed in a flood, and not much is known about this bridge, not even the contractor. It um, doesn't have a builder's plate. I would love, if somebody out there has a drone, I would love to see drone footage, because there's no way I was going to walk over this bridge. It's a long drop to the river. Uh, the wood is very rotten, and needless to say, there's no safety features whatsoever, so... Uh, I may like to explore stuff like this, but I am smart about it. Okay. 
I'm not sure exactly when this bridge closed. I know the railroad itself ran through at least 1953. The rail bed is elevated, as you can see. Um, it's a little hard to see in the video. There was a lot of backlighting. Um, I, I could only see part of this bridge, but I was very entertained by this tree. A uh, very mature tree growing up between the ties, meaning this bridge has been derelict and deserted for decades upon decades. To my knowledge, it was deserted somewhere around the 70s. It originally carried the South Branch Railroad and the uh, Jersey Central, or CNJ. And the mill here is uh, well over 100 years old, and it's been restored, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And the entire scene here at the river with the two bridges actually is very much a throwback to the 19th century, which, you know, people who come through here really can appreciate. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy touring bridges, as well as other subjects that you see in a lot of my videos. Thanks for watching, and be cool, be kind, and be courageous. Peace out.